adventures wherever they go. Milo, CJ, Benji, Lulu, Rory, awesome songs and Bible stories. And I'm Marcel. And welcome to the, the Cheeky, Cheeky Panda, Panda Show. I am so excited about today's show, Marcel. I think it's going to be so good. Well, it's always good. Yeah, but today is going to be especially good because we're talking about what we have to offer. Oh, great. What we have to offer to who? Well, to God or to each other. Oh, I love it. Well, can you offer me some money so I can buy a pizza? I'd love to, but I've just given it to Benji. Yeah, he needed to buy a new part to fix the song machine. It's broken. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. But don't worry, he knows what he's doing. I'm sure it'll be fixed in time for the Cheeky Panda song at the end of the show. Great. Well, in that case, let's take a trip over to the Treehouse Studio and see how our fairy friends are doing. Over to you, Cheeky Pandas. Today, we are observing the Cheeky Pandas in their natural habitat. It turns out it's not the misty mountains of China, but instead in a treehouse studio, deep in the heart of England. Lulu, Milo and Benji are trying to finish a new song. However, the song machine has broken. Benji is trying to fix it, though it's not going quite to plan. Hmm, if I just put this on there, Give this a gentle tap here. Oh dear. Benji, what happened? I was fixing the song machine after I put cheese and lemonade in it. Hmm. Were you trying to make cheesy pop songs again? It worked when I put stones in it to make rock music. I think you'd better leave this to an expert. I'll fix it. OK, but you're going to need one of these though. Uh, Lulu, I said you're going to need one of these. Well, it's clearly blocked. Skateboard from the Skater Punk song, inflatable dinosaur from the Dinosaur song. Oh, Benji, are these your pants? Mmm, uh, yeah. I was working on a song for someone, but I didn't have a clear brief for it. Lulu, Lulu, you're going to need this. Lulu! I don't think she's listening to you, Milo. Hmm, perhaps it's the flux capacitor. Hello, Lulu. Did you hear Milo offer you a key? Not now, Mr. Narrator. I'm very busy. Ah, I was just going to tell you that my... Oh, dear. And I'm not sure she's listening to anyone's offer to help. Hey, guys. I fixed it. And I even upgraded the country music resistor too! That's impossible! Not when you're clever like me. Let's test it. Everybody ready? Uh, Lulu, I think you need... Not now, Milo! Hmm, it needs one last adjustment. But I think I need a special key to do it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? To the bamboo phone! Hello? I need to order a song machine key right away. Please. Thank you. It's, it's the, the Pandaroo delivery. delivery. Awesome. Isn't it helpful how quickly your deliveries come, pandas? Wait. This key won't fit. I think perhaps Milo will be able to help you. Milo, do you know what to do? Milo has the right key and he's had it all the time. Really? I tried to offer my help, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, I'm sorry, Milo. Let's try your key right now. Hooray, pandas. You've got the song machine working again. You know, this reminds me of something we learn in your Bibles about how we all have something to offer. Like what? Well, things like kindness. Like when Milo and Lulu wanted to help Benji when he was struggling with the broken song machine. Patience, like when Milo was waiting for Lulu to listen to him. And joy when the song machine started to work again. 
These are examples of what the Bible calls fruit of the Spirit. Different qualities that help us to grow to be more like Jesus. Really? Fruit? We can ask God to help grow the fruit of the Spirit in our lives so we can offer them to help other people. Well, cheeky pandas, we've all learned some important lessons today, haven't we? Number one, that we all have gifts from God that we can offer to help other people. And number two, always being careful what you put in the song machine. I feel a new song coming on. I'm going to put some fruit into the song machine, add some dance moves and see what comes out. To, to the, the song, song machine! machine. <laughs> wow, that was so good. See, what did I tell you? They fixed the song machine. Although Benji had some explaining to do after he put all those stuff in it. Yeah, but it made me think a lot about being bold enough to offer. And quiet enough to listen for when someone else is offering. Exactly. I wonder if our special guest can help us unravel more of what it means to offer ourselves. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? To the Bamboo TV. Hi, I'm Rob Parsons. You know, one day when I was a little boy, the teacher said, this afternoon we're going to do painting. Oh, I hated painting. I was hopeless at painting. She said, we're going to paint a farmyard. And I'm going to pick the six best paintings and put them on the wall. Oh, my heart sank. I got together my colours, red, blue, yellow, and I started to paint. I thought I'd paint a cow first, but I made a mistake. I'm sure cows don't have one, two, three, four, five legs. And then I painted a chicken, but the chicken was bigger than the cow. And, and then I painted the farmer, and he was so scary, I, I wouldn't want to meet him on a dark night. And then the teacher came round all the desks, judging which was best. I heard her say to Simon, Oh, Simon, yours is so lovely. She said to Chloe, Oh, Chloe, I'm going to be yours on the wall. And, and then she came to mine. And do you know what she said to me? She said, What is it? I said, Please, miss, it's a farmyard. But she said, Cows don't have one, two, three, four, five legs. And look at the size of that chicken. My painting didn't go on the wall. And all the other children whose paintings didn't go on the wall, they all scrumpled this up and threw them in the bin. But suddenly I had a great idea. I kept my paintings safe. And when I got home, I waited for my mum to come home from work. And when she came home, I said, look, mum, look what I've got to offer you. And she looked at it and do you know what she said? She said exactly what my teacher said. She said, what is it? I said, mum, it's a farmyard. And she said, oh, of of course it is. Look at that special cow. You've given it one, two, three, four, five legs. And look at the size of that lovely chicken. And, and oh, the farmer is so handsome. I'm going to put this on the kitchen wall now. And she did. She was so proud of it. She showed everybody that came into the kitchen my painting. And, and when she redecorated after two years, she put that painting in her special memory box. And you know what I learned that day? We've all got something to offer. You just have to find the right person to offer it to. Sometimes people don't want to be our friend, but we can find someone lonely and say, I'd like to be your friend. Sometimes when people are sad, we can offer them our smile. We can even say to our mum and dad, I'd like to offer their help with the washing up tonight. That would really surprise them. We've all got something to offer. You just have to find the right person to offer it to. Thanks for joining us on the Cheeky Panda Show. We're going to pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, the Lord's Prayer. So why don't we say it together now? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. 
I think that the cheeky pandas were really inspired by Mr. Narrator. What, when he was talking about the fruits of the spirit? Yeah. Do you remember them? I think it was oranges, bananas, pears, <laughs> No, apple. Marcel. I think it's something like um, <laughs> love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, self-control. Wow. And I think that the pandas have written a song about this. Oh, is it that time of the show already? You know it is. Over, Over to, to you, pandas. pandas. I'm coming alive, I'm coming alive With the fruit of the spirit inside Life is a garden watered by your grace Endless color hidden in this place Beauty deeper than my eyes can see I can feel it coming alive in me With a little love, joy Kindness changing me With a little goodness Make me whole Faithful, gentle Self-control I'm coming alive I'm coming alive With the fruit of the spirit inside I'm coming alive I'm coming alive With the fruit of the spirit inside Life is a garden where you sow the seed Every season you are all I need Growing stronger in the warmth of love And your light that's shining down from above With a little love, joy and peace Patience, kindness changing me With a little goodness make me You know, Martha, I think I should audition to be a beatboxer for the Cheeky Panda Band. Oh, I want to say this with a little love. I don't want to lose you as my co-host. Oh, Martha, you're the best. Look, time is running away with us, so is there anything you want to say to the viewers, Martha? Yep. Kids, don't forget your nine a day. <laughs> well, see you next time. Bye. Bye.